online tutor. Through this video, we are going to look into the types of fractions, how to convert fractions and multiplication of fractions. So let's start up. First, let's see what are the types of fractions. Unit fractions. The fractions in which the numerator is 1 are called unit fractions. Here are some examples. The next type of fractions is proper fractions. The fractions where numerator is smaller than the denominator are called proper fractions. Look at these examples. You can see 2 over 5. Here 2 is smaller than 5 so it comes under proper fractions. The third type of fractions are improper fractions. Here it is the opposite of proper fractions. That is, the fractions where the numerator is larger than the denominator are called improper fractions. Look here. 5 over 2. It is very clear that 5, which is the numerator, is greater than the denominator. So, it belongs to improper fractions. The last type of fractions is mixed numbers. A whole number along with a fraction is called a mixed number. 1 is a whole number and half is a fraction. So, 1 and a half is a mixed number. Now, let's see how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. When 5 2 over 3 is converted to an improper fraction, first we multiply the denominator by the whole number. That is 3 into 5. And then we get 15. Thereafter, what we do is we add the number we got to the numerator. That is 15 to 15. We add this 2. Then we get 17. So, remember 17 is the numerator of the improper fraction. And then what about the denominator? Always when converting fractions, the denominator never changes. In the mixed number, the denominator is 3. So in the improper fraction also, the denominator will be 3. So our answer is 17 over 3. Let's look into another example. 7, 1 over 5. First, what we do is multiply 7 into 5. We know 7 into 5 is 35. So, we get 35. To 35, we add the numerator of the mixed number. That is 1. So, 35 plus this 1 is equal to 36. And just like before, the denominator never changes. The denominator is 5. So, our answer is 36 over 5. Improper fractions can also be represented as a mixed number. Let's see how to do that. Look at this example. 16 over 5 is an improper fraction. To convert this into a mixed number, you should remember a mixed number has two parts. It has a whole number and a fraction. So, as I said before, the denominator of fractions never change while conversions. So, here the denominator of the fraction will always be 5. Now, let's see how to find out the whole number and the numerator of the mixed number. What you should do is divide the numerator of the improper fraction by the denominator of the improper fraction. That is 16 by 5. We know 16 by 5 is 3 and 1 remains. The answer 3 is the whole number and the remainder is the numerator of the mixed number. So our answer is 3 1 over 5. Let's look into another example. 14 by 3. 
Here again what we do is divide 14 by 3. Then we get the answer as 4 and 2 remains. As I said before, the denominator always will be 3. So, 14 over 3 is equal to 4, 2 over 3. Now, let's see how to multiply fractions. First, let's move on to fractions multiplied by a whole number. That is, if A is a whole number and if B over C is a fraction, remember we multiply the whole number by the numerator of the fraction. That is, a into B over C. The same thing we do when a fraction is multiplied by, by a whole number. That is, if X over Y is a fraction and if Z is a whole number, we multiply X by Z and we don't multiply Y. So, we get X Z over Y. When a whole number is to be multiplied by a fraction, what we do is multiply the whole number by the numerator of the fraction first. That is 3 into 2 equals to 6. Remember here in this case the denominator does not change. Denominator is 7 itself. So our final answer becomes 6 over 7. We follow the same procedure when a fraction is multiplied by a whole number. Here, we multiply the numerator by the whole number. That is, 1 into 5 equals to 5. And the denominator is 3 itself. Now, in this case, 5 over 3 is an improper fraction. We never leave the final answer as an improper fraction. Therefore, we convert 5 over 3 into a mixed number. Therefore, our final answer becomes 1, 2 over 3. Now, let's pay our attention to see how to multiply a fraction by another fraction. Imagine A over B is a fraction and it is multiplied by the fraction C over D. Always you should keep it in your mind that when a fraction is multiplied by another fraction, the numerators are multiplied separately and the denominators are multiplied separately. Now, here you can see a into C is AC and B into D is BD. So, the answer becomes AC over BD. Look at this example. 3 over 5 multiplied by 1 over 2. First, we multiply the numerators. That is 3 into 1. 3 into 1 is 3. Then let's multiply the denominators. 5 into 2. 5 into 2 is 10. So our answer becomes 3 over 10. Now look at this example. Here we have 3 fractions. Yet we follow the same procedure. We multiply the numerators first. 1 into 4 into 1 is 4. And 3 into 5 is 15. 15 into 2 is 30. Four over 30 can be simplified further. So we can simplify it further. Both 4 and 30 can be divided by 2. So when 4 is divided by 2, the answer is 2 and when 30 is divided by 2, the answer becomes 15. Therefore, our final answer is 2 over 15. The final part of this session is multiplication of mixed numbers. Always remember, when you are requested to multiply mixed numbers, the first step of your working must be converting the mixed number into an improper fraction. Look here. 1 over 5 into 1, 1 over 3. The first fraction is a proper fraction, so we write it as it is. Since the second part is a mixed number, we convert it into an improper fraction. Then it becomes 4 over 3. Now let's multiply the numerators and denominators separately. 1 into 4 is 4. And 5 into 3 is 15. 
Therefore, our final answer becomes 4 over 15. Look at this example. Here, the first part is a mixed number. Let's convert it into an improper fraction. Then it becomes 3 over 2. And the next part is a proper fraction. So, we write it as it is. Remember, in multiplication of fractions, we can cancel the numerators and denominators if they can be divided by the same number. That is, the 3 and 3 here can be cancelled by 3. Then, you get 1 and 1 over here. Similarly, this 2 and this 2 also can be divided by 2. Therefore, you will get 1 and 1 here as well. Now, 1 into 1 over 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Now, look at this example. Here, both the parts are mixed numbers. Let's convert both into improper fractions. Then it becomes 3 over 2 into 7 over 3. Just like before, here the 3's can be cancelled. Now, when multiplied, 1 into 7 is equal to 7 and 2 into 1 is equal to 2. So, the answer becomes 7 over 2. But, 7 over 2 is an improper fraction. Remember, in fractions, we can't leave the answer as an improper fraction. Always, you have to convert it into a mixed number. Let's convert 7 over 2 into a mixed number. Therefore, the final answer becomes 3, 1 over 2. Hope I made myself clear with types of fractions, conversions and multiplication of fractions. See you with another Smart Math Tip. Until then, goodbye.